know, Julian's known for his sort of glamour and everything else, which is fantastic, and it's still there. But um, you know, we kind of wanted to make it feel a little bit easier and a little bit more um, achievable in a way. So we've actually sort of tamed the hair down this season and made it something that's a lot more approachable and people can feel like they can actually do it and it won't be such a long process, you know, in order to do that. But definitely ease. Definitely. So much. She looks like she's just come off the runway. <laughs> <laughs> You're out doing the model to you all. No, but I think everybody knows that I can make glamorous, sexy dresses. But this time, you know, I have a new food collection of very gorgeous coats, you know, really rich and crusted with jewels. So I think today, you know, people saw um, a different side of Julian that, that they might not see if it was a Julian McDonald at nine o'clock in the night. But where did this inspiration ki come from? And, you know, uh, uh, just stepping off from last season, 
it seems such a departure. It's not. So well, I think the great thing is about fashion that it changes. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you come to a show, sometimes designers do the same thing. And now, as a designer, you know, fashion should change. And you know, you just saw the winter Julian McDonald woman. And you know, and, it, and if something changes, people are interested in you as a brand. If everything was the same, then you'd no longer be interested. To, you know, say I open the show with my signature things, the knicks that people always want to see. And I kind of, you know, develop my 